Well, we are just hours away from the solar eclipse. 31 million people are in the path of totality, spanning more than 2,000 miles long across 15 states. Cities and towns across the path of totality are expecting huge crowds, lots of traffic. In Texas, the Department of Transportation is warning about congestion and unfortunately distracted driving because a lot of people will stop and look up, look up and yeah, that's not good for our roadways. Uh, Indiana calling for a state of emergency because of the potential for massive crowds. The FAA is also issuing a travel warning anticipating high volume of traffic in the skies. If you plan on watching it here in San Diego, you, know, you need these. Get your certified ISO glasses ready. You got to make sure they have the certification on them because mm -hmm. you don't want to look at the sun if you're not wearing the right proper eye protection. Yeah, you're going to need these to protect your eyes. I can't mm -hmm. keep these on because we can't yeah, read the prompter through read. them. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. If you want in on the action here, you'll want to go outside starting at 10 a.m. Partial eclipse starts at 10.03. The high peak time will be at 11.11. And if you don't have these glasses, well, we have ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell. She is joining us with some ideas and she is live at the Fleet Science Center. Danny, there are other ways people can safely watch the solar eclipse without these things on. Good morning, Mel. That's right. So today, even though the sun is going to be partially covered between 50 to 60 percent, it can still hurt your eyes. I mean, it's super powerful, and that's why you're going to need one of these to protect your eyes. But if you and your kids don't have one of these at home, there's actually some stuff that you can find at home to make your own solar eclipse viewer. If you are at home from your kitchen, you can take out a colander and from all of those holes, you can project it on to the ground and you will be able to see all of the crescents. Another good thing to take a look at is if you are near a tree, you will see that shadows of the leaves have that really beautiful different kind of shape so that you can get it and here's another fun way to watch the eclipse whether you're at home or at school so just take a cereal box and cut out the top and bottom flaps but leave the middle flaps and tape them down to split the center add some aluminum foil to one of the sides and then stab it with a pinhole into the center of the foil with the push pin or a safety clip then with your back turned to the sun hold it over your shoulder and then look into the box because you're going to be able to see the shadow of the moon inside the cereal box and that's what this solar eclipse is all about we get to see the shadow of the moon as it passes between the sun and the earth today we're not going to see it again until 2044. So there is a viewing party here today and it starts at 9 a.m. They will also have these glasses on sale if you come here and you want to buy one for purchase. Stick with us because coming up in the next half hour, we're actually going to hear from the CEO of the Fleet Science Center who also happens to be a physicist and he's going to have a fun demonstration for us. Live inside the Fleet Science Center, I'm Danny Miskell. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, if you don't want to go outside, you want to watch it from the comfort of your couch and see the totality of the eclipse, uh, keep it right here on ABC because ABC will air their special Eclipse Across America program starting at 11 a.m. They've got two hours of total eclipse coverage from the path of totality. Because of that, we're not going to have our local news at 11 a.m. You can catch our full local eclipse coverage starting here on ABC 10 News at 4 p.m.